Alright, what's up internet? We are reviewing the Glorious PC Gaming Race Model O Minus. Upfront, I have to admit, I was kind of biased against this thing. I like my mice wireless, and the current one I'm using is the Logitech G602. That's wireless, it's black, it's austere, and it's the complete opposite of this Model O Minus. I mean, the Model O is wired, it has RGB, it has holes in it. So, you know, I was kind of dismissive about it at first. I was thinking, you know, I'm, I don't know, I'm, will, I, will I like this mouse? Before we begin, I should note I'm not a professional reviewer. I do not have a bajillion hours using different kinds of mice. However, I do run Hardware Sugar, so we see a lot of different tech coming in and out of the shop. And more importantly, I spent a lot of time with this particular mouse. I used it during the Manila lockdown, so that was around 2-3 to three months, 8-10 to 10 weeks. And I used it extensively, I used it as my primary mouse. So whenever I was on the computer, whether for work or for gaming, I was using the Model O Minus. And to be honest, after I was pleasantly surprised, I ended up liking the darn thing. So first of all, the claim on its weight. It is one of the lightest mice, lightest mouse, lightest mice that you can find on the market. I tried to weigh it on our digital scale, it wouldn't even register. I thought it was a gimmick, like, yeah, okay, so what if it's light? But, you know, the lightness does really help you push it around more. I mean, it seems more responsive when you slide it on a mouse pad. This is especially more so for me because the mouse I was using before this was the G602 and it's wireless. And if it's wireless, that means it has batteries inside to enable it to be wireless. It was especially dramatic for me coming from a heavy wireless mouse to a wired light, one of the lightest mice. And you know, it was a bit jarring at first, but I came to appreciate again the, the lightness of this mouse. Glorious makes a big deal out of it being light. And to be fair, there is some utility. You do get some value from it being so light. Why do I like wireless mice? Because I hate cord drag. If you know, you sometimes you use a mouse and then the cord is too heavy or it's hanging. So it seems like it's tugging the mouse away from you and you need to fight it. So you jerk the mouse back and things like that. I, I, I find that kind of annoying. So I, I always, prefer wireless mice but for the model o this wasn't a problem the cord was also very light and i never experienced that kind of drag or resistance from the cord um, it's one of my pet peeves but i didn't feel it with the model o on rgb yes this mouse comes with rgb why would you put rgb on a product that when you use you are covering it so basically you don't see the rgb I do not know, but to be fair, the RGB is well done. The colors are nice. They transition well. You don't feel like they're, they're jittery or they're some low quality LED. And actually the mouse is really nice to see in the dark. So, you know, I would leave my office. I would go my, my office room in the house and I would return to it after dinner or whatever. And the lights would be off, but the mouse would be on. And you know, it, it really looked kind of inviting like, the only light in the room was that RGB and it was pulsating and it was kind of like inviting you to press your hand on the mouse and you know, I'll transport you somewhere else. And it, it was nice to see RGB in the dark. My current setup has no other RGB. So having a mouse with RGB as an accent piece seems kind of silly, but again, when you see it in the dark, you're like, oh, okay, well, you know, that does look pretty. <laughs> One curious thing was that even with the PC shut down, the mouse would still be running. So the RGB would still be alternating and pulsating. And so that was kind of spooky because I would leave it off. I mean, it would be off for a good 30 minutes or so. And you know, one or two times I'll go back and the RGB was still on. So I don't know if it was still drawing power or it had some power left. I, uh, the few times that I do know that the PC was shut down, but the mouse was still on, it was 
a bit spooky. The build quality is good. You don't feel that after 50 clicks, the mouse will, you know, suddenly break down and it won't register clicks anymore. It's sturdy. The buttons have a good solid feel to them. The holes are an interesting design choice. They do make the mouse stand out and they do help you see the RGB. Basically, why put in RGB if you can only see it on the sides? Now with the holes, you can see it from up top if your hand is not resting on the mouse. The image of the glorious mascot on the left side of the mouse is purely aesthetic, but you know, it's a nice touch. And even after two months or so of varying degrees of using it with sweaty palms, there's no discoloration noticeable on the mouse or particularly on the left click where sometimes you see that where over time the paint or the finish gets worn off. But at least for the three months or so, the 10 weeks or so that I've used the mouse, there is no sign of that occurring. As for actual use, it took a little getting used to for me because again, I'm used to a heavier, clunkier mouse. And this one accelerated a bit faster than when I was used to. But once I got the hang of it, you know, it was fine. I was able to use it the way I wanted to. I didn't feel like there was any wayward movement from the mouse when I would use it. I do miss the... My G602 has a lot of side buttons that I like to customize within games. So like one button will shoot a rocket, the other button will increase shields and things like that. I like to map them beforehand. O- minus only has two buttons on the side. But I'm not blaming it. It's not meant to be an all-around hefty mouse like the G602. So I think for what it is, it's already very good. I'm not the type to mess around with DPI settings. I understand you can. Um, this mouse does support that. So it is a gamer type of mouse. I'm just not that type of user. I do change the mouse sensitivity with in-game. That worked for me with the Model O and you know, I, I have nothing, you know, it was fine. I have no complaints about it uh, after that. My one complaint about the mouse though is the size. I, I, I guess I have big hands, but it seemed like the mouse was very small when I, when I would hold it, when I would grip it. But when I was researching, I discovered I'm an idiot. Of course, it's small because the Model O minus, the minus is the designation of Glorious that it is for small to medium-sized hands. The Model O regular is the one for large hands. Unfortunately, we don't have a Model O regular in the shop. I would have wanted to try that out. What's the experience with the minus with a big hand? It's not uncomfortable. You can still use it, no problem. And again, I used it for around 10 weeks. You just feel sometimes that your hand is kind of swallowing the mouse. I mean, it's like really gripped on there, but it's not uncomfortable to use. So at the end of the day, it was something that I wish this mouse was bigger, but it's not something that prevented me from using it on a daily basis. And again, that is a product feature. It's the minus product line. So therefore it's really meant for smaller hands. So overall, did I like this mouse? Yes, I did. Again, I was initially skeptical and dismissive and Oh, you know, my Logitech G602 will run rings around this thing. It's only the Logitech is wireless and it's all these buttons and things like that. But I was pleasantly surprised with the Model O minus. And in fact, I used it longer than I thought I would. So I like it so much that in case the G602 fails on me, I would definitely consider using the Model O, not the minus, but the Model O as my regular mouse. If you've used it, um, let us know in the comments what you think about it and thanks for watching. So I hope that these basic tips helped you. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like and hit the subscribe button. For your PC needs, consider buying from us, Hardware Sugar, at Lazada or on our website. You can find links in the description below. And thank you for watching. See you next video. Wait, Kita ka na naman sa ano. <laughs>